Hello and welcome to day 71 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. So let's find an opponent and begin. All right, will we have the white pieces or the black? Looks like the black pieces. And, oh, they aborted the game. Hmm. All right, well, let's play a, uh, let's find another opponent here. Huh. Okay, here we go with the black pieces. And we're playing a 1517. As we wait for them to make their move. Oh, they start off interesting here. Uh, let's see. So, what should we try here? How about we'll try that. Huh. So, I don't know. Pretty interesting choice here. Play that. Take control of the center here. And then we can play C6 maybe and kind of block things. Well, we played this D5 move. I don't, this is just a kind of an unusual setup here. Well, we probably want to jump our knight up here. Now we're controlling this open, uh, this outpost here. So... What do we want to do next? Uh, hmm. Well, we'll play that to fortify. So further fortify the D pawn. And now uh, they're thinking the same thing, that they can go ahead and attack there. So now we might as well Let's see, go ahead and jump our knight up in there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Well now, we could even jump our other knight in there or sorry, our other knight. Uh, you know, maybe play this move to fortify that. All right. So now, uh, should we go ahead and capture that or just ignore that? I think we'll go ahead and castle. So we'll do that. Uh, if they capture. Okay, so he decides to play that. Now. Hmm. I guess we could just develop our knight like that. Huh. All right, so that's interesting. Um, well, I guess we might as well fortify our knight with that move. All right, so I don't know, the game kind of turned a little crazy here.
So maybe we develop our queen next to this square. And keep an eye on that pawn. Hmm. Okay, so that is interesting. Now, why would he do that? Maybe because he's getting ready to push this pawn at some point and bring his queen out here. You know, it threatened to jump his knight in. All right. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. All right, if he pushes that, well, we can just capture. Okay, so question is, where do we want to move our bishop and our queen? Probably need to develop here and target this. Um... If this knight jumps here, though, hmm. All right, maybe we have to keep an eye on this pawn because if he jumps this other knight in here, we might want to chase it away. Uh, all right. Well, this is kind of tricky. And how can we use our knight to advantage? Is there a way to do that? Should we just jump forward here? Hmm. Ah, uh, tricky, tricky stuff. All right. Well, we should probably develop this bishop at some in some way. Um, maybe we go here, you know, or develop our queen. If we go here, his knight could jump in and attack us. Um, if we go up here, the other knight could capture us, pulling our pawn over. Maybe I let him do that. Hmm. All right, we're just burning up way too much time. The game has just kind of turned into a big mess. Okay, do we go after this knight? Maybe, but then it would pull the other knight in. Then we could just pick this pawn off, then fortify but we would be left with this not so good pawn here. All right, have to watch out here. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
Maybe I go ahead and pick this off immediately. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't seem to be the greatest move. Just try that and see what they do. Huh, actually, maybe a good move would be to jump up here with this knight. Ah, uh, but then I can't jump back here. He could just protect that. All right, maybe I need to move my queen over to here. Huh. All right. Hmm. Do I move up to here? No, that would block the like retreat for my knights that I might need to use. Do I go here attacking? Uh, that might be a possibility. Hmm. All right. Well. Oh man, I don't know. This is kind of tricky. Got to find a better place for my queen. Better place for the queen. Okay, maybe I need to push this pawn. All right, enough thinking. We'll just go there, see what they do. Well, what can that do? Um, hmm. Guess I could just go here. They are kind of lining up on my king, though, and I don't like that so much. Okay. Well, we'll go back that way. All right. Man, this is just kind of a weird game. They're just moving around, not doing much. Okay. Um, well, I guess I can move that. Just gain some space over there. All right, now, do I take the knight or not? Do I take the knight? Hmm. All right, let's just get rid of that knight. 
He's probably going to jump his other knight down into the position. You know, or he could put this pawn, you know, pull this pawn into the center. All right. Well, now we can push that pawn forward, maybe activate our bishop up to the other side. All right, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Well, our knight is kind of trapped there. But we might as well develop our bishop. Let's see, let's see. Um, do we ignore that? Ah, let's just go after it, and then we can develop our bishop. Might as well line up on the queen. Line up on the queen. There we go. Now what? Take control of some space over there. All right, we'll just do that. Need to move this rook off of the line of his bishop. Maybe move it here. Get it over here lined up on the queen.
Well, I don't know. This game kind of is just a crazy closed up game. Maybe I should push this pawn up. If he pushes here and I capture, he captures. Then this is under attack. Hmm. Now, do I have an option to push this pawn? If he captures, I can capture. Uh, but then this would be unprotected. Hmm. All right. Do I push forward here? He captures. All right, if I push this pawn forward, he's got two attackers. I only have one. Well, he's got one, two, three attackers. I have one, two, three defenders. But then it could let his bishop come in here. So. Maybe I should aim there at his other bishop. Hmm. All right. Do I ignore that? I probably need to ignore that. So, if he captures and I capture, it opens a line up on his king. I'll go ahead and do that because then maybe my rook can jump over there. All right. If we go here, he captures. We capture attacking his queen. that what we want to do? Um, let's see. If we go there, he captures. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't know. Things are just really closed in here. All right, we got to do something. So let's just go that way. At least this way we can attack his queen.
well, what options do we have here? Just go there. do that. Now we need to push our past pawn. Where is this queen headed? Where? That queen is not really headed anywhere. So. I don't really see much for that queen. So let's just go there, start pushing that past pawn. Now what should we do? Um, get behind the past pawn is normally the best thing to do. Just do that, get behind the past pawn. All right, what did that do? All right, we'll go there. And now we should just push that forward. What is that trying to do? Hmm. All right, might as well get rid of that.
then let's see let's see do we push again push again hmm We'll just keep pushing forward. All right, what is he going to do now? Um, Ah, uh, all right, what can we do to cause problems here? What can we do? Ah, do we go up after that? He'll probably just come over to there. If we move, he can attack us. Guess we're going here. All right, now we're going there. Okay. Well, now what do we do? Hmm. Go right there, I guess. Now what? Ugh, and I only have two minutes left. Once again, I am just running out of time here. All right, well, at least they're in trouble now. At least they are in trouble. Yep, they resigned uh, because if they move their bishop, well, their king's in check, and they only have one place to go, and that would be up here uh, to king to h1. And then we pick off their bishop with check, and then uh, they would have to move again, you know, and then we just end up mating them. So we'll take a look at the game review here. All right, well, we're approaching 1600 again. I have to get back up over excuse me, 1600 as I had some issues, uh, kind of had a, a meltdown in some earlier games and went back below 1600. All right, so the game was pretty steady. They, they had some kind of little advantage early in the game, and then it was kind of steady until we gained an advantage in the end. So my opponent played at 78.3, and it looks like I played at 87.1% accuracy. And it says, good job building a lead and not letting up. So let's start the review here. I don't That was just a, a strange game that kind of got all locked up and crazy. So I don't know. We'll take a look here. I'll just kind of go through, as usual, fairly quickly with the game review. And then we'll take a look at the analysis and see like what details we missed. So here it says e6 is a mistake that we should have immediately taken that knight. All right, so 
if we took the knight, uh, let's see, so it wanted us to do this, and then they would capture, uh, actually capture with a center pawn. I thought they would capture with their F pawn towards the center, and then make some room for the rooks, you know, possibly. That's one reason I didn't, uh, you know, trade there. Anyway, let's get through this. All right, and another mistake. Bishop to d7. Uh, I guess that could give up the bishop pair. But once again, it wanted me to capture that knight. But I wasn't worried about them capturing this bishop here because it's blocked in by all its own pawns. So this is a pretty bad bishop. Uh, this queen move was a mistake. It would have been better to capture here. Now, if they captured my knight, it leaves me with a double, like double g pawns. So, I don't know, that's not so good. Um, yeah, then I guess he... We'll definitely take a look at that in the analysis before I get too deep into it here. All right, just kind of blasting through everything fast. Um, here, queen to h5 is a mistake. Bishop to f1 would have been better. Yeah, trying to trade off this bishop here. Because that bishop kind of helped me a lot, especially when I was starting to push that pawn up the board. All right, and it did not like this move. Queen to h4. Better would have been rook at a to g1 to double up here. I would be forced to capture. Then they would probably capture. Um... Mm. Yeah, that, that definitely would have been better doubling up. I guess he was worried about my passed pawn, but still, you know, black would be ahead, but just not as much. All right, so we capture, and now my rook takes the open file, and this pawn is protected um, you know, by the excuse me, the bishop. So that's another reason that why it would have been good to trade off this bishop that's now protecting the pawn. Okay, uh, let's see here. Huh, so instead of retreating, it would have been better to move here, pinning my queen. You know, then we would have just traded, oh, well, maybe we wouldn't trade queens. Anyway, another thing to take a look at. But now it's just a mate in two. So, yeah, we find the best move. Uh, and they resigned here. Because if they move up here, which is the only space available, uh, then, oh, well, then we have an immediate mate. We can just go here and capture the pawn with mate. And the rook covers the other G file. All right. So let's go back here. Uh, well, before I do, uh, this says you really outplayed your opponent in that one. The opening was balanced. It was a well-fought middle game that you got the better of. So they played at a 1650 level, and it looks like I played at 1900. So opening accuracy, they played 89.7 versus my 86.6. Yes, I, that opening was kind of strange. I wasn't sure what was best to play in that. But their middle game was 73.6 versus my 87.4. All right, let's do a little bit of analysis here and figure out you know, what did we miss? Uh, you know, what can be improved upon? All right, so G3. I don't see that too often, you know, unless I'm playing something like this in the hippo defense. Uh, but... Here it says d5 immediately would be best. And I thought about doing that, uh, you know, and then playing maybe c6 or something to block the scope of his bishop. Uh, but I thought, well, first I'll fianchetto and get my king kind of to safety over here on the king side. So they push forward. That's an interesting move. Um, now here... I don't know if it would be good to copy and move my F pawn immediately. I think I ended up moving it anyway. But they go there. So finally I play this D5 move. Um, 
they respond with d4. It says d3 would have been better because now they're left with this weak e4 square that no pawn can cover. And that can be an outpost uh, for my pieces here. But, uh, well, that's why I jumped this knight up here because now in the future I can try and jump it up here and maybe try and control this outpost. So they just fortify the pawn and I do the same. All right, so now I take the outpost and they just castle. Now, maybe this wasn't the best move here. F5, the game is still, uh, where are we at here? It's even after this. Bishop to F5 would have been better. Developing the bishop and kind of fortifying this knight. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> So, yes, the computer wants me to develop my bishop. But instead, I decide to fortify my knight even more with the F pawn. But I don't know. After that move, uh, what do we have? An even game. So they attack my knight immediately. Now, what would be best here? Maybe retreating my knight back and avoiding... You know, the pos well, he, he's not going to capture this knight because then I can capture towards the center and have a strong pawn formation in the center here. Um, and then a half open F file for my rooks once I castle. So now it looks like A5 is the best. Just gain space on the queen side. Uh, but instead I castle. They jump in. So now they have an outpost. Uh, the best thing to do here, it looks like, is just knight to d7 to go ahead and just attack that knight, which is what I thought about. But then, oh, it looks like I actually played that. So their best move is to ignore that, develop their queen, but instead they jump their knight in here. So now if the one knight takes me, the other knight can jump in there. Uh, so here... I jump my knight up here and do the same thing. But looks like it would have been better to develop the queen. I kind of thought about that move earlier. You know, because if I go here, the bishop... Uh, well, th this bishop is not really going anywhere anyway, it doesn't look like. Uh, but they moved their queen. I wasn't sure what they were trying to do with this. Maybe they wanted to guard this pawn and push their B pawn. You know, or they wanted to push this pawn in the future and have the queen jump down here, targeting this with the with their knight. Uh, so I jump forward, and I don't know this move. Did it really do much? Probably not. So actually, that was the second best move. It looks like. So a5 is what they wanted me to do. So I jump in there. Uh, they push their pawn, kind of fortifying their f pawn and d pawn, and giving, well, I don't know, giving their queen a little bit of room. So here it says that I should capture. Just go ahead and knock out this knight. But then he would probably just jump in with the other knight. That's why I didn't do it. Instead, I played e6. But it looks like I should have just captured there. Uh, they would capture. And now the recommendation is c5 or number one is a5. Just gain space on the queen side. All right. So in the game, I played e6. So not the best move because now they should just go ahead and capture my knight. Then I would have to capture, and I'm attacking here. So they could jump forward, and now, oh, this is interesting. They recommend that I go ahead and capture here. And now, capturing with the F pawn is what I would think they would do, uh, but it says the best move is to go that way. 
Hmm. I guess this way it avoids a trade of the rooks. So you keep more pieces on the board. Um, now it recommends that I just go here. And then we have queen to e2. And now b6 is what they want to see. Oh, because I could play b6 and try and play a5 and then move my bishop here, attacking the queen and the rook. Uh, but before I dig too deep into some crazy variations, let's see what happened in the game. So queen to d1, because now maybe they're thinking if they capture here and my pawn captures, they could move away and the queen would be targeting this pawn. Uh, so... What did I do here? Bishop to d7. And it says better would have been, once again, to capture this knight. And then they would capture with their knight and so on. But bishop to d7. I thought, well, if he captures me, then he gets rid of my bad bishop for his good knight. Uh, and so the computer does not recommend that. Once again, it says we should go ahead and capture the knight on g4. Uh, but in the game, they played queen to b3, targeting this. And so here, once again, it wants me to capture this knight. Uh, but I played queen to c7. It doesn't like that, so... It's saying, you know, probably should have done that. And then they would capture, then my bishop would capture. And the same thing we looked at earlier. But instead, I went here to protect this pawn. Now it says, you know, again, they should capture my knight. Double my pawns on the G file. Um, but we have, let's see... Queen to d1. So, yeah, they should have just, once again, captured there. But they played their queen back to d1. And then our best move is either, you know, capturing this knight with our knight or the bishop. And instead, we played bishop to e8. I thought, well, I could keep an eye on this pawn, you know, if I want to push this one forward. But this is a miss. Better would have been to capture the knight. So they move their queen. And at this point, I think they're just trying to run me out of time and they were making quicker moves. Um, best would have been, once again, to capture my knight. So here I played h6, but I should have knocked out that knight, which I guess I do later in the game. So I move here, you know, keeping their knight from coming in. Um, and now we have the same thing. They move their pawn, attacking my knight. But what would be best for them? Once again, attack that knight over there. <laughs> or capture it, I mean. So finally, I think I go ahead and I find that move. <laughs> that just took me forever to uh, capture that knight. So here... The best move is to capture with their knight, but they didn't do that. They played the second best move. And then, let's see, I played c5, which now the computer is saying is best. And I thought, well, I need to activate this terrible bishop, so maybe I can get it over here. I mean, I guess he could have just moved there and stopped me. Uh, instead, they try and knock out my knight here. So the best thing to do is bishop to b5 attacking that rook. I thought about that. I mean, I guess then he could only go here. But I don't know. I didn't really see it doing much. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's take a look at it. It says that's best. Going there, uh, that they should give up their bishop... Well, that's interesting. Hmm. It's only the third best move to go ahead and capture the rook there. 
best would be that. And then, um, oh, C4, doing that. And they actually want me to capture that. Now they can capture and leave me with two pairs of doubled pawns, which it does not look good. But it says black is in the lead here, even though I have these. Well, I guess these doubled pawns can be protected with my B pawn. Um, they recommend bishop to d2 to stop those pawns. And then, you know, get the other rook out. Even now it's saying a4. Um, let's see, rook at a to d8, trying to grab the open file. Uh, rook to c1, targeting my pawn. And the recommendation is to ignore that, go after the bishop, and then the bishop would move. Um, and then queen over to c6 to protect this pawn. And my rook has the open file. Um, but, you know, he could just fight for that. Okay. What do we have in the game that actually happened? We had knight to d2. I captured, which I should not have done. Um, queen captures. Now we have bishop to b5. But it says, computer recommends it's better to push this uh, b pawn up. Just gain more space with the pawns on the queen side. So rook to e1. But it would have been better to double up and, well, create a battery of rook and queen here. Uh, and at this point, I don't know, I was just kind of maneuvering around, trying to figure out which way to go. Um, you know, here I lined up on his bishop, thinking maybe in the future we can exchange off bishops so I can get rid of his defender around the king side. Um, he pushed here, but they actually wanted this move. Okay, hmm. All right, so now a5, I just grab space. And it says that's a good move, but it would have been better to bring my rook up here. So now we have this, the best move. Uh, and it looks like queen to b6 is best. Uh, b6, which is what I played a second best. Uh, now bishop to f3 would have been better. Um, okay, so now we just kind of continue to maneuver around here for a while. Uh, the queen was kind of threatening to come down here. I don't know how much of a threat that would be. Um, but, all right, so we doubled rooks up. They move up, maybe getting ready to double their rooks in case I try to open this up. Um, and then I move here, lining up on his unprotected piece. So whenever there are unprotected pieces on the board, look for tactics. So, you know, this isn't much of a, an attack here. Um, but, you know, if I push this pawn, he's going to have to worry about an unprotected bishop. So he pushes over here, trying to open things up on my king side. Uh, I move out of the way. That way, if we trade, I don't have to worry about checks on my king. And if he opens this up, I can bring my rooks over here and line up on his king. So, of course, he moves his king off of that line as well. And then, uh, finally, I start pushing here. I thought, well, I can open this up, attack his queen, which is what ended up happening. So his queen has to move. But now... He's lining up on my queen. So I can't move this pawn or he'll pick off my queen. If my rook captures, his bishop will pick off my rook. Um, so c4 is what I play because I don't want him trying to put a bunch of pressure on um, this d pawn, which is blocking the path of his battery of bishop and queen. So, we have a capture, oh, and also it was a discovered attack on his bishop. But it looks like the best thing to do here, oh, is to ignore that and go here. 
So it would have been better for him to capture attack, counterattacking my light squared bishop. You know, and then if I captured, he could possibly move over and attack my queen. All right, so he does that instead. Uh, my rook is forced to capture. He captures there. My bishop captures. And now um, we have a passed pawn on the A file, which is going to be dangerous. So my opponent decides to capture over here. But it looks like an immediate bishop to F1 is the best move to try and get rid of this right here. Get rid of this bishop. Now if I don't attack, I can either protect maybe with the queen up here. Um, then if he captured, I capture, but then his rook can move up here chasing my queen and also guarding this square in front of the pawn. Anyway, in the game we had this move, which now it allows me to recapture and black is ahead by 1.17 here. So how does the game continue? We have queen to h5. The queen moves in, but this is a mistake. Bishop to f1 would have been better. So once again, trying to get rid of this bishop, which that bishop actually helped me a lot in pushing this pawn forward. Uh, so we had queen to h5. And well, actually, before we go on with that, uh, let's see. All right, hold on. We exchange the g-pawn. The queen moves down, but they should have played bishop to f1. And then what should I do here? The recommendation is... Oh, interesting. Bishop to b3. You move up here, and you, know, you can push this pawn up even further. So bishop to b3 would have been the best response. Keeping the bishop to allow you to help push this pawn up the board. And then they should play c4. Um, and then you should ignore that. And just take the open g file. Or try to. All right, let's try and finish this up. So the queen moves down here to h5, a mistake. The best thing to do is play rook to g7. Uh, but what did I do in the game? I played a4, which was a mistake. So rook to g7 immediately uh, would have been a better move. Okay, trying to just immediately grab this. And then we could threaten to double our rooks up over here which would be pretty dangerous. All right, but instead I thought, well, I need to push this past pawn. But, man, it's kind of tricky trying to figure out balance between def offense and defense and knowing when the exact right time is to push a past pawn. Because if you do it too early, the pawn can become weak. Um, so, a4... They should have played rook to a1 to target this. Or, sorry... That's what they played. They should have played bishop to f1, once again, trying to trade off my bishop. Uh, but they attack my pawn. The best thing here is, oh man, queen to a7. So, I don't know. I think I looked at one point at moving somewhere on this line to threaten to attack this, but... I should have took a better look, I guess. Queen to a7 would have been best right here. Protecting the pawn, threatening this pawn. Their best response would be queen to f3, protecting. But that gives us time to push this up. But now it's saying rook to b8 is better. Oh, wait, that's not rook to b8. <laughs> Let's delete that move. So rook to b8, uh, now it's saying rook to g7 would be a good move. So the computer's a little uncertain on how to go. All right, so we had rook to a1. 
I respond with this move, getting behind the passed pawn, but I should have done that with the queen instead. Uh, so now we have bishop to f3, which, I don't know, maybe wants to try and trade the bishops off this way, like moving up to e2. I grab the open file, so that was the best move. They played rook to g2, which was not the best move. Queen to h4 was better. Okay. Maybe threatening to move in here and target this. So queen to h4 would have been a better move. Oh, now they don't like that. So now it's saying bishop to e2 would have been better trying to attack my bishop all right well what did we have in the game we had rook to g7 followed by rook to g2 fighting for this open file so i immediately should have picked that off ah and i didn't which could have given him the opportunity to double the rooks so Instead, I pushed my pawn forward, which is the third best move, but I should have captured. Their bishop would have captured, and then I should have pushed forward. Okay, so in the game, I immediately push my pawn. Now they should move their rook here and double, uh, which, did they do that? No. They played the third best move, queen to h4. Uh, and that was a mistake. So the best thing to do would have been to double rooks. And then... Oh, man. They recommend that I double. Okay. Double. They should capture. And that my rook should capture. And then if they capture, we have queen captures and queen to e8, trying to get behind the passed pawn and attacking this pawn. a2, we threaten to promote. Oh, now it doesn't like that. It's saying it would have been better. Huh. Well, that's pretty crazy. Let's take a look at that. It's saying bishop to d3 would have been a better move. So let's see. Bishop to d3 is best. Huh. Okay. Well. Then they should play queen to a4. Well, now what do you do? Uh, queen to f8. I would almost think it would be better to go here instead to protect that pawn and your other pawn. Um, but they recommend queen to f8, then queen to a7 check. Yeah, see, now the computer's saying it would have been better to do that. So, yeah, delete that move. So, Queen to e7 is better. It prevents a check on your king. Covers both of these pawns. Now what do they do? Bishop to h5. Um, you can play, what? Bishop to f1. Huh. Or king to h8. I, I don't know. you think you would just... Maybe you would move up here and get ready to push that pawn again. Well, it says bishop to f1. Why would that even be the best move? You're attacking this pawn. So h4. What? That would allow a capture with check. Am I right here? Uh, maybe you don't want to do that, though, because then the bishop will come under attack. 
and then they can pick this off. All right, well, before I veer off, you know, really far into that line, we had queen to h4. So I trade off, which was best. They capture, and now the best thing to do is just push that pawn again, uh, which is what I did. Now we have queen to f6 here, threatening this pawn. The best thing to do is rook to g8. But I went over here and protected. So let's look at this rook to g8 move. Rook to g8. I guess that would threaten to, you know, if the queen attacks here, you could, well, then he would just start picking these pawns off. So I don't know. Now they're saying rook to g1. Queen to b1. Huh. All right. So you would push up there. And then... Queen takes e6, but then that allows you to capture here. King captures, then you promote to a queen, and then the king would have to move, and now you have, what, bishop to d3, preventing a capture of this pawn with check, but I don't know. It, they captured this. Now there's two passed pawns for white. So this is still pretty tricky. Well, maybe not so. Well, if you find queen to e1, it's not tricky, I guess, because now you're threatening a check. Uh, so c4, queen to g3, and king has to move. I guess you could capture. You could capture here. Queen captures, rook captures, king captures. Then you pick this pawn off and stop all of his pawns. Uh, and then you try and work your king up into the board and pick off his pawns and hopefully promote one of yours. But still, looks like the best move is to, uh, what here, play rook to g7 to stop any checks. Then queen, what queen to b7 is what it recommends. Something like that. You know, and then what? You're probably just going to go ahead and pick that off. I mean, why wouldn't you just do that? Then if the bishop does that, well, now you can just play something like that. You know, and then what? They're kind of forced. Well, it's just bad after this. I mean, maybe you could go here and bring this pawn in, but the queen's just going to start wiping all these pawns out. And then, what? Queen captures. King, anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> okay, the final moves in the game. The queen goes there. Um, I moved here to protect the pawn, uh, which says that's best. And then we have bishop to f3, the rook taking the open file, bishop to h5. Um, I guess this is not much of a threat. You know, until the rook comes over, then we could have problems. So, looks like the best thing to do here is play rook to g7. Uh, but I played queen to g7 instead. Huh. Rook to g7 would have been best. Okay. 
Well, let's take a look at that. So rook to g7. And then now you can threaten to just move over here and start attacking the queen. Hmm. But I don't know. You might have to watch out that this pawn doesn't move up here. Backed up by the bishop. Anyway, maybe that's not much of a threat. So rook to g7. Then the best thing to do is retreat the queen back to h4. And then you bring your queen up to b7. Try and get your passed pawn promoted. Um, so in the game, we played queen to g7. Attacking his queen and threatening a mate in one here. So what does my opponent do? Uh, well, they make a mistake. The best thing to do would be what? Queen to f7 here. And then we should play... Huh. That is interesting. It says d4 would be a good move here. The best move is d4. Second best is just to move your king so you don't have this pin here. Um, but d4, c takes d4, queen takes uh, f7, bishop takes f7, but now your bishop is protecting this pawn when the rook moves. Rook to b8. And you're threatening to get this passed pawn promoted. So, you know, what do you have here? King to g3, king to g7 attacking, bishop up to h5, and then rook to b1 here. And the best thing to do is to just go ahead and pick that off. But now white or black would be winning. Okay, so in the game, my opponent, I guess, wasn't sure what to do here. They retreat. We move up here with check, and that's where they resign because you know their only option is to go back, and then we just capture, and it would be mate. All right. Well, uh, if you enjoyed the video and you found value in it, uh, you know hopefully it helps you uh, to figure out strategy and tactics in your own games. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to support this channel and. Also, feel free to leave comments, suggestions, uh, and you know, any recommendations. Also, if anybody would like to leave questions, I'm doing a new chess questions series where uh, I'll pick the best questions that come in and I'll make a video about the top questions that I get. All right. Thank you for watching and have a super chess day.